ranked fifth right now at 125. These two met, though, in the semis of the Southern Scuffle, and it was all Lee's act. Yeah, he was, uh, he was up 8-0 after that first period. Yeah, final was 12-5. Uh, Pensionini scored, I think, three points in the final, like, 15 seconds. Uh, but, it, I mean, Lee's act, he scored off Pensionini's shots. He turned them. Um, looked really impressive, of course, on that Southern Scuffle uh, championship run. And one of the things, you know, we talked about because normally Oklahoma State will start at 125. We expected it to be harder for Lezak, making way for the second time in three days, coming off an hour away. But he got a whole duel in here. It's been about an hour and a half uh, since the start of the duel, so two and a half hours since weigh-ins. Lezak, 6 no overall in the year. The Air Force match is kind of the one everybody's pointing to as far as yeah. where's Lezak out in the year. He got uh, he got ridden the entire second period. I think the final score was 5-3. So here we go. Pinchinini, Lezak. Pinchinini was fourth last year. Lezak was second, losing to Darian Cruz. Pitching any, uh, you know, again, that, that all-star match doesn't count, but 3-0 otherwise. Beating a couple guys who might end up qualifying, and uh, Kyle Nordstrom, Trey Shalfu also went over Josiah Klein. Those are all at nice single there from Pinchinini looking to go to a double here. Plants him. He's going to score the takedown to take a quick lead. So 30 seconds in, Pinchinini is on top first, and he is pretty tough on top of himself with those cross wrist tilts. Mm -hmm. He and uh, Weigel, really, the two I think of. Try the mat return. Lezak definitely a height way. advantage. Lezak coming limping back to the middle a little bit there. But yeah, Pitch and, and Weigel, definitely the two I think of here. And, and uh, especially Pitch, you know, 25 so quick with it. Slap it on, roll through. Two quick swipes. So 2-10 to go here on this restart. Nice little switch there from Lezak in on the leg of Pinchinini, but he's trying to cradle him up here. He's got that bottom here, ankle. Still here. Still here. Did a great job holding on that Lezak. right ankle. Lezak did a really nice job of getting that ankle back down on the mat, getting his leg back, scoring the escape. So 2-1 here, 145 to go. Pinchinini racked up 35 seconds of ride time there. Up, As expected, Lezak looking bigger, but it's not helping him here. Is Pinchinini controlling the center, trying to drive through there. Really good motion and movement from Pinchinini. Heavy on that head of Lezak and just directing him around the mat. Once again, pulling heavy on that head. Lezak kind of looking a little, he's backing up a little bit, kind of leaning. Pitch looking very confident coming forward right now. And I'm sure it helps that the duel's locked up, so he can just rest. Another the nice single from Pinchinini, and he <laughs> finished quickly. No chance for a scramble there from Lezak. Set him right to that button, immediately doubled off, scores a takedown. He's got a 4 1 lead here with 50 seconds to go in the first. And riding time at 50 seconds and ticking up. Same way, guys. They'll go out of bounds. 41 seconds to go on the restart. 53 seconds of riding time for Nick Pinchinini. Okay, set tight. Pinchinini's white hot right Green. now. He is set. looking great, but we haven't seen Lezak on top. So plenty of match left here, yeah. And he's going to look for this ro roll through till, and he's got him. He's going to get a full set of back points here at the end of the period, trying to readjust and work for the fall here. And he's got that bar now. It's something about this third year jump for Oklahoma State guys. 8-1 lead for Nick Pinchinini. I don't know what it is. Pinch 10 is seconds to go. In this first period, his riding time is getting ready to go over 132. He rode him for over half the period. What a first period for Nick Pinchinini. 
He's going to defer, and let's see if Lezak takes top. And no, they're going to go underneath. No, and Eggum says it's top. Zach Sanders said bottom. Sanders said bottom. Eggum came screaming out and said, no, you're going to take top. Now, again, we saw him get, uh, I believe, six six back points on him in that in that uh, scuffle match. I wondered if uh, we would have saw Pinchinini take neutral after being so successful on his feet there in the first period. And right away, he is trying to escape, Did not want to waste any time down there. You can see constant movement from him here as they're on the edge of the mat. And they'll go out of bounds. 148 remaining in the second period. And I'm sure most of you at home watching are aware, but there's a reason they call him the backpack. It's not just because it rhymes. They also go lizard. I'm not as partial to that one. Pichinini starting a little angled there. Spiral ride here from Lezak. He's got a half here that's tight. And even if he doesn't turn, close to getting riding time under a minute. A minute and a half to go here in the second period now. Ethan Lezak getting his chance at his best position right now, trying to throw that left boot in. And now does. And he's looking to score some points here. In fact, he might have had one swipe. Pinchinini able to belly with 115. And pitch, he, he knew that boot was coming. Almost caught it. He's like, though, so. He's going to try to pull Pinchinini into his lap here and then throws the boot in. Looks to get that second one in, now does, and gets Pinchinini flat, but they're out of bounds. 58 seconds to go on the restart. Pinchinini's ride time all the way under a minute, only 31 seconds now. I see Agam and Zach Sanders talking to Lee Zach. Right away, Lezak tries to come up to his feet with that spiral ride. And claw here from Lezak, just too much with 50 seconds to go. Pichinini trying to turn into him, score a reversal, but Lezak's comfortable here, and that's going to be swipes. He got a two count. And he's going to, I think he's holding four there. Kind of hard to. We're trying to take a look at Haggerty's, and that was four. Yeah, and now he's trying to readjust and score some more back points. And they go out of bounds here. 22 seconds to go, so 8 5 on the scoreboard now after those back points. Lezak erased riding time. Still not a factor, he only has four seconds, but certainly nice to get that out of your, out of your system. Not a lot of time. 22, if he can get another. Another turn here. There's a caution on Pinchinini. Now, I'm thinking if Pinchinini can, can hold this one out here, whether he gets that or not, he goes neutral. Yeah, absolutely. Spiral right in half again from Lezak, right off the whistle, pulls Pinchinini into his lap, and this is where he's so dangerous. He's close to scoring here. 12 seconds to go. Can he get some more swipes here before the end of the period? Trying to pull Pinchinini over. There's a one count. There's one. There's two. Holding two. Holding two here as time runs out in this second period. So 8-7 now as we head to the final period. The other thing to keep an eye if Pinchinini goes neutral, Lezak's favoring that ankle a little bit. He's not moving as well as he normally does. So there is neutral from Pinchinini, 8-7, riding time not a factor. Here we go. Crowd is into it. Pinchinini stalking Lezak once again to the edge here. He's going to shoot, drop down in that leg. Lezak looking to counter, circles back in. Good crotch lock there. Pinchinini trying to turn tight here, but Lezak does a good job of following. He might have been in some trouble if they were in the middle of the mat there. Lezak was getting ready to score some points. See Egan there continuing to stay in. Pinchinini taking his time, walking back to the center. 133 to go here in this third period. Pinchinini leads 8-7. This crowd trying to get behind him. 
Got to take stock of the situation here. No riding time. Shot, Shot by Lezak. He's in deep. Steps over that ankle. Now has it up in the air. Pinchinini up hopping. He tries to swim out and finish. Trying to catch that second ankle here on the edge. 108 to go. Plenty of time to work. Pinchinini with a wizard here. Lezak catches that second ankle, and there's the takedown. He takes a 9-8 lead with 55 seconds to go. But now they're counting. He's down on that ankle. And they'll go out of bounds. 54 to go, 9-8. Ethan Lezak leads. 29 seconds of riding time. Something to keep in mind. This crowd trying to get behind Nick Pinchinini here. 29 seconds of riding time for Ethan Lezak. 54 seconds to go in the match. He scored seven points from the top position last time. Pinchinini up to his feet right away. Tries to kick his hips over. That's where he got in trouble last time. So much pressure on that right hip, that right leg. Trying to throw that left boot in. Riding time at 45 seconds, 38 to go. Pinchinini trying to just sit out. We're trying to work his way out here. Lezak so comfortable here though. He'll stay here all day. Three Pinchinini seconds up to riding his feet. time. He has riding time now with 20 seconds to go in this match. Nick Pinchinini trying to kick out. I'm not sure how it has been a stall call. And there's a stall call. Did they give the escape? Did they give the escape though? Yes, they did. 9-8. Wow, that was a crucial exchange there. 9-8, 15 seconds to go. But Lezak has riding time at 108, so 10-8. Pinchinini comes forward, he's in on a single. He's gotta try to finish this quick. He tries to pop his head out. 10 seconds to go. He's close to the team, but Lezak holding on. Four seconds to go. Lezak's gonna hang on to win this one. 10-9 with riding time. Wow, what a match. Ethan Lezak fights his way back from an 8-1 hole and wins 10-9. Ends the shutout. Gets his second winner for Nick Piccinini. And I hope we get to see that one again.